April 7th has now been designated as Freedom of Speech Day in Taiwan to commemorate the death of democracy activist Zheng Nanrong in 1989 and his sacrifices for Taiwan's democracy. Premier Lin Chen confirmed the decision and said he'll instruct government agencies to plan their own related activities. On April 7th, then-president-elect Tsai Ing-wen pledged to designate the day of Zheng Nanrong's death as Freedom of Speech Day. Now the cabinet has confirmed April 7th as a national holiday. <laughs> Mr. Zheng Nanrong sacrificed himself to raise social awareness of the importance of freedom of speech. Of course, we hope that this will be more than just another day of remembrance, and that it's an opportunity to further educate the public on the importance of freedom of speech for democratic government. Premier Lin Chen instructed government agencies to organize activities related to the occasion and encourage participation from all sectors. Ye Julan, the widow of Zheng Nanrong and a former presidential secretary general, expressed her gratitude for the gesture. The most important thing is to help the public understand why we need to have Freedom of Speech Day. We need to cherish this privilege and be vigilant about the threats that China poses to Taiwan's freedoms of creativity and speech. In 1984, Zheng Nanrong founded Freedom Era Weekly, a news magazine that criticized the then KMT regime and promoted Taiwan independence. In 1989, Zheng was charged with insurrection, but refused to appear in court, and on April 7th committed suicide by self-immolation as police attempted to break into his office and arrest him. His sacrifice shed light on the importance of freedom of expression and sparked a move toward political liberalization in Taiwan.